Okay, back to naming the names. <laughs> hey, Squilla. Just wanted to pop in and wish you luck before I attempt some speed runs of my own. Kick some ass, dude. Uh, Hayes, thank you, dude. I hope you get better luck than, uh, than I did yesterday. I can't say I hope you get better luck than I do today, because I need it. I can't relinquish that to you, but have a better bunch of runs than I did yesterday. <laughs> How about that? Also, wait, are you doing- you're doing Bloodborne, right? Or... Was it this? Challenges like randomizer and stuff? Yeah, we've done item randomizer and enemy randomizer. I've never combined them together, but the challenge runs would mostly be no hit runs. Or zero damage, stuff like that. And then some other stuff that's... Combined with those ideas. Until I'm basically on a unicycle with one foot. At the same time. No hit SL1 speedrun jokes. <laughs> Streamer, you should you should play DS1 remastered speedrun no hit run. With a Nintendo controller. You should do a Nintendo Labo SL1 no hit speedrun on DS Remastered Streamer. That might be gold. Yep. Okay, I lied. We got a gold. <laughs> the 121 wasn't there, though, for us. Actually, okay. 121 could have been possible, but it would be like a 121.9 if my stamina management was absolutely perfect in the beginning. But I don't... If I cut it too close, then it's not gonna, I'm not going to get the hit, and I'll waste the run, pretty much. Or I'll waste the gun deer, so... And we probably would have... Eh, I don't even know what else we'd have to do. It still might not be 121, but... It could be closer to 121 if I cut my stamina short just a little bit more. The God Deer? Not gonna see a gold today. Did I? I actually said I said that right. Well, I said once in a blue moon. Okay, so now you're not gonna see a better gun do than that until probably another handful of time that is large. Blue moons happen at least one every once in, one and a half days to two days. That is a fact. If you read the blue moon handbook. Uh, Hima, what's up? How's it going, dude? Hey, I actually made up the ladder, no way. It's real. It's not even Christmas, it's actually just real. Uh, Poochie, welcome back, man. What's up? A gold humanoid doing the splits in case you want new emotes. That'd be pretty funny. Actual, like someone doing the splits. Or split, yeah. I think if I speedrun speed ran heavily like forever, like if I was only choosing to speedrun anything I played at for the rest of time, I would definitely do that. 
That'd be ha that you'd have to have an emote like that, but someone probably already does, though. That's just too good of an idea to not already be a thing. Maybe not a gold person, but a dude doing the splits, that's... That's perfect. Your four cent sub ran out, hee hee. Oh no. Now you gotta unsub here so you can resub to him. What will you ever do? It's over. <laughs> I still have to watch Forsen. I've never seen a stream. I think I've I've seen clips of him, but I don't think I've seen I don't think I've been there when he streamed before. Apparently it's really funny though. It's like just a bunch of memes. Uh game and watch, what's up man? Zayun, welcome back. This is the run diamond. Look, we have one Estus left. We gotta we have to make this the run or we're we're in we're in pretty rough condition. Scale of 1 to 97, how would you rate a faith in build with a chaos dagger? Daggy, I actually don't know much about builds in this other than the ones I've used. Which is not a lot. Mainly stuff that pertains to challenges. That sounds like it'd be pretty crazy though. If chaos is as good as it was in DS1, then... That sounds really good. I probably could have killed him right there. I definitely could have killed him a little bit earlier there. I, I don't know, it was a little bit of a risk, but I don't think I would have been dead. I think I would have still lived. Just then the fight would have been really shitty if it didn't work, so I didn't go for it. Ah, uh, Papa Husky, what's up? How's it going? Is that half of a frog's face? Is that like a frog peeking around the corner? Easy. Every YouTube comment on a no-hit run, now do it SL1 fists only, then I'll be impressed. That That's literally a copy pasta for no-hit runs. It's For me, it's either Froz did it first in 2001, or... Uh, y yeah, but like it wasn't SL1 fists only. Or, hey, you got hit at this minute when you fell on an enemy's head. Like, it's... it's th those are the three most popular memes. I was actually thinking, it's kind of silly, I shouldn't even really have to do it, but I'm considering maybe doing Duke Skip on on the SL1 run for DS1. J just just because I, I want to see, like if I could get it super consistent, it'd be hilarious. Just to basically see what people would say about it. Because then there'd literally be nothing to get, the only thing you could complain about on the DS1 run is the Duke Skip not being done. So... I try to do the first Duke skip, no hit run. But you can't, you can't like hold me to that. I, it's just an idea. I was, I'm considering it. I might practice it just to see, because I used to know how to do it, but I wasn't really good at it. You didn't do it with a Rock Band controller yet. <laughs> I feel like half half the cases where someone wants more or whatever that are legit, they're not actually just like trolly. Like that person couldn't be even with what they're saying, they would like like to see they wouldn't even be impressed by that. They're just never going to be impressed by anything, so it doesn't matter. Even though that's not the goal anyways. Just want to do something that I enjoy, but I I don't think even if the things that were done, like even if you did SL1 no hit this only it, it, it would either probably just be called out for being like like cheating or there's there'd be some detail to find of why it wasn't valid because you you wore a ring or something like that or because you did something that someone else couldn't do so it couldn't possibly be real it's it's never enough <laughs> but uh that's the funny part i guess Just want attention? That's true. That's that's a good point too. Some people like complaining. Um 
But uh, yeah, it's definitely easier to complain than actually do it yourself and prove the other person, or prove your point by actually like backing it up by by doing that run that you're talking about. <laughs> But why do that when you can spectate and criticize? The stream isn't even real. None of us are. Glungers? Okay, well. I saw that comment, so it obviously has to be real. Unless you're trying to make a, a literally zero, um, you know, like nothing of a point out of it. Unless you're trying to like not make a point. And that's the point is there is no point of what you said. <laughs> Uh, who won the race in Bloodborne One Hand Japan? We haven't done it yet. Uh, okay, so I was told the next date, and I don't, I don't know if this is 100% concrete again because the date's been rescheduled twice already, but I was told uh, Sunday, 10 a.m. EDT. Uh, so I'll have to figure out what that translates to in the EST. I don't know right off the top of my head, but I'll figure that out. doesn't matter what time it is. We'll, we'll do it either way, but... Um, basically, that's, that's Sunday is the day as of now until further notice. I'm hoping it's the final time so we can actually just do it. If not, honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to just doing like a three-person race with uh, Faraz, myself, and Ghost. And then we get the practice and then the other people can join in later and suffer the wrath of the, of the one-hand gods that have practiced so hard and actually know what they're doing. Even though, again, it's gonna be pretty hard, like, I, it's gonna be like alternating playing with my face and playing with one hand like the way I did on the one-handed run It was like a regular run one-handed run. I Don't think I can just I, I can't just play with my face and I can't just play one-handed like there's certain things that need both so You gonna have to do it that way And I have to do it left-handed too. I can't make it work right-handed from what I've seen so far so I'm gonna I wonder if I could do right-handed my face and then do strictly one-handed left but I feel like that would probably get banned. That probably wouldn't be allowed. Uh, guessing you finished Scorch Contract. What debuffs did you have in the end with Gwyn? Uh, it's it's on the video if you want to see it, Shorts. There's a lot. There, there is like 20 plus debuffs. But, um... Worst ones were double damage, new game plus four. Uh, decreasing health. Uh, needing to wear two different rings to stop me from moving slower and also combusting into flames spontaneously after like 20 seconds. Taking up my ring slots and the elemental random occurrence of where you have to use a weapon that corresponds to the curse that the enemies have pretty much. That's like, those are the worst things overall. Everything else didn't really matter too much at that point. Chimaco Gold Gundir, yeah, but then you see what kind of <laughs> other segments we add. To be fair, though, only the Vort was kind of iffy. It was still better than it could have, like, it, it could have been worse, but... We made it to this part with enough health, at least. Spontaneous combustion sounds crazy. Well, okay, you can plan for it to happen. I guess it's not spontaneous in the way that it's random, but you can bust after like 20 seconds without a certain ring on that doesn't have an effect other than keeping you from combusting into flames, but your health still decreases either way, so. It was actually more beneficial to just... <laughs> you not just let myself combust in the flames and use Horner Ring for Gwyn.
Salty Cashew, what's up, man? Trained DSAI with synthesizer. <laughs> Dude, if it was AI, it probably wouldn't have failed fair and skip. <laughs> That's one thing for sure that AI would obviously do perfect every time. Because it's there's no random factor to it. <laughs> But, uh, nice try, man. We have proof that that's not the case. Please insert disc number two to continue run. Oh, shit. Sorry, there is an error with, uh, with Windows. I think, it's, I think it needs to update. Give me a second. It's going to splice this run on the loading screen. Holy it, what's up? Now, if they make Scorch contract for DS3, that'd be legit. The problem with DS3 modding, apparently the files are encrypted, so it's harder to do. But I'm sure there's going to be like better mods made for in the future as it gets older. I want to see Demon Souls remastered, man. That's like, because I feel like FromSoft is going to obviously cash in on the remaster idea again with something, something or other. Like every developer does it at some point that knows what's good. So like, I want them to do that. That would have been so much better than DS1 in the first place. But, um... I don't even care if they didn't change much about it. If they did the exact same thing they did with DS1 with Demon Souls, it would actually be viable just because it's less attainable. And most people don't have the, the system either to, to play it or just never got the chance to play it, so... Uh, Misk, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? Gold Gun Deer world record hype, yes. Followed by a slow descent down the hill of, of time loss. It's really sad that you don't actually fight Abyss Watchers. This fight is interesting in your opinion. Uh, good luck. Banania, we're going to actually be fighting Abyss Watchers in all the challenge runs that you'll see. I'm looking forward to doing it again. As much as I don't really like Abyss Watchers, I will... I will appreciate the opportunity to be fighting them regularly again, definitely. Well, we gotta do the, the route properly, right? As I don't swing at the right amount of stamina and I'll lose more time. Remake of uh, Chrono Trigger, not Final Fantasy VII. Oh yeah, I forgot that that was actually happening. When when did they release that? That was announced a long time ago. So I think that these these little pots right here, they sometimes just don't let you walk through. And, and it, I don't know if it has to do with the angle and the speed you're moving at when you actually do it, because I'm two-handing and it let me through. Actually, the past few times I've done that since that one incident yesterday, so. It's definitely not just two-handing. I guess it has to do with like the momentum and the angle you're turning at as you hit them. Shizuno, what's up? The joy of your every day. That's pretty nice of you to say, man. Unless you're, like, joking, but thank you. 
Uh, do you think I'll play Vampire? No, I'm not interested in that. Not at all. I, I kind of made my mind up on that before it came out. I saw the gameplay and I was like, eh. No thank you. Have a knife in my shoulder? Yeah, because people are just backstabbing me. Catacombs of traitors. I gotta take a nap. Hehe. <laughs> All right, have a good nap, man. I will see you later. Uh, Zambiru, what's up? For some uh, here, uh, thanks, dude. <laughs> um, I'm glad that you're having a good time. Hopefully, I can keep this run alive so you can see gameplay that is adequate. Hey, you know what? Maybe Sage will be nice, and I won't get 40-something seconds of time loss, and then die to dogs. Wouldn't that be cool? Also, I, I am excited for the time where these skeletons stop being assholes. Me inadequate in the same sentence, I know. It's like, tch. Yeah, right. Okay, that wasn't enough. Are these ske two skeletons the worst part of this run, Shorts? No, <laughs> definitely not. They waste they waste uh, an unknown amount of time though. If they roll if they roll into that doorway, uh, sometimes they don't actually make it. If they don't make it, you instantly uh, get to go back. So I don't remember if on I think on the PB we instantly got the warp. So some more time lost there because you got to wait for them so you, you don't get hit by them or anything. It'd be cool if there was a consistent strat to not allow them to do that, but you have to pick up the shard that gets them closer to you. There's no substitute for it that's faster. Uh, Wit next, what's up? How's it going, man? There's like one shard that I know of that I could grab that wouldn't affect that other part, but the problem is it's too far away. Uh, Nubba Dubba, welcome back. You're not late at all. Congratulations, you're the lucky winner of being here at exactly 53 minutes and 11 seconds. Skeletons make you, uh, clench. Eh, I mean, you can die on them just because their animation uh, hits you perfectly out of the bonfire animation and there's nothing that you can do about it, so... I could die without having control over it. You, you have to take that risk every time. That's only happened once so far to me, but I've seen it happen to uh, Coltrane twice. And I'm sure it's going to happen to me again, so I don't, I don't really care if that's what happens. But if I die and that's not the case and I had a chance, I'll be a little bit annoyed. Feeling a little hashtag moist today? Nick, what are you doing, man? Thank you. Oh my god, you Nick, you've solved the problem. Nick has solved the problem. He's hacked Sage. He did it. He saved the run. And I almost died. <laughs> but not really. 
And we killed Sage faster than the PB. Thank you very much, dude. That's insane. <laughs> oh, we have, we have a Nick number two. Nick of Lollofs, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, I guess you guys can both take credit for that. I did say your name, so... Everyone that actually has the name Nicholas in real life will, will get a 10% coupon in the mail. Courtesy of First Try Soul Mass Industries. Gets you a discount on a diet boxed water at any store. Missed my emote squeal gasm. Uh, Master Yak, thank you for the two months in a row. Welcome back, dude. Missed your emotes? I... That is awesome. I'm actually trying to think of ideas for uh, new emotes as well. Because, well, maybe not like a lot of them, but just a couple. I, I came up with a couple ideas, but I, I, I want to think of something else that's... Something that no one would have. Uh... Also, wait, you changed your name from Ronir to Nick? Okay, I see. That would explain some things. Thank you for telling me instead of making me ask you after like three or four times you being in chat and I'm just like, well, I don't remember you being here. <laughs> uh, enough damage to kill Sage with the parry with a leveled up character, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to do regular all bosses in the future and actually be able to kill them immediately. That will be cool. Remember the long ass sub thank you speech? I do. I think shortening it's probably a good idea specifically just for this run. Regardless of what anyone thinks, just because uh, sometimes it could it could screw with the focus. Like it depends on the, on the circumstance of when I thank the sub, I guess, but it could possibly throw off the focus a little bit. But I think I think the shorter version is is still getting the most important points across, right? The S3 remastered in 2037, is it confirmed? Is it gonna be on the PlayStation 10? Uh Lil Squares, what's up? Yeah, we we definitely need an unfortunate emote. That's that's but what would it be, though? Because I want it... I want it to be, like, symbolized rather than just the word. Because the word would be too easy. You could just make that a BTTV emote, right? It'd be funny if you could somehow fit, like, Miyazaki reaching... I guess you could like, get, like, a hand reaching into someone's pocket and stealing from them, maybe. That'd be, <laughs> like, a robbery emote, pretty much. Or if, like, you could have a dude with a bag over his shoulder that actually said memes on it and it's still readable, but that's probably too much detail. Uh, Colby Universe, what's up? How's it going, man? It's only going to work on the PS10 Mini. Oh, wow. 
What a ripoff. Not even the PS 9.5 XL. Be something uh, gambling related. I guess it could be like a slot machine. Yeah, that's that's true. That's a good idea. Uh, why do you always heal there even though the attack never hits you? Uh, because I need full health for Deacons, basically. I wouldn't want to go into Deacons um, with a tick, because I could die immediately. <laughs> I could trade with uh, one of the fat Deacons as I hit the first guy. So I have to have... I, even though I knew I wasn't going to have full health out of that, normally I would if I didn't take the fall damage earlier on the cliff. I screwed up the way that I did that. So you need full health to have more damage. But you also have to have near full health to survive as well and not fight at the beginning. Or a decent chunk if you can. Complete a run without tumble buff, Nyx. I've done other runs that don't have tumble buff, but for speedrunning every single run except for current patch. Uh, and I think maybe any percent with... Any percent with teardrop might have not no tumble buff. A whole month and I still don't know why you don't level up your character. It would make you faster stream as Quill. Smokin', thank you for the two months in a row. Welcome back. <laughs> it's a good idea. I should do that. You're right. You are correct. 9.5 XL is a beast machine, honestly. Oh, yeah. I pre-ordered mine back in 2025. Still runs really well. So yeah, this run, Nyx, uh, you have to do tumble buff if you want to have a competitive time. I will try to run it in the future, though, on current patch with no, like, no exploits in any way, shape, or form. No skips, just a standard run. As fast as I can, SL1 to see how we could do it, but it wouldn't really be, like, that hard. It would just be... It would just be slower, right? I mean, like, some things would actually be easier. So... You just have a little bit less damage on Vort. Uh, you'd have to use a Charcoal Pine Bundle for Great Wood. You would just have a normal fight on Abyss Watches, probably upgrade to the Broadsword by the time you get there. Or just do bundles or something like that, I don't know. Um, Walnir would probably be bundles too, I don't know. So the early game would be a little bit less damage, so you'd have the hard time on that, and then... After that, you're good. Because you wouldn't have to do some of the skips. And you wouldn't have to YOLO, um... Well, actually, you know what? That's not even really part of the route that's an exploit. I was going to say, you could, like, reroute it to have more damage on the boss fights later. But I guess that would still be slow, though. Uh, on a trip right now, you won't be able to stay for long, Flea Fly. I hope you're enjoying your trip, man. D did you mention where you were going? I'm not sure if I asked you about that. Lonos, what's up, man? Why does that table make a rocket thruster sound when you break it? <laughs> does that happen to you guys if you play this on your own setup or whatever? Like, it sounded like a rocket ship or a laser or something like that. It's like, <laughs> what is the point of that?
Oh, maybe it is Void Ring, you're right. Wait, no, but I didn't heal before, though. I healed at the Estus. I mean, when I broke the table. I don't think it was the Lo I don't think it was the Lloyd's sound. It sounded different. I mean, it was before I healed, like top of the stairs, right as I broke the table, and then I healed after the tables were broken. Once I got the Estus. Uh did I PB recently? Like, yes, I did. Rocket boosters, because you got to go fast. I guess so. <laughs> NASA approved table. They got NASA furniture in this. Oh my god. If I had known that, I would have taken advantage of it. Now I feel like a scrub. Did I play Team Fortress 2? I've tried it before. But I didn't really like it that much. I think it's because I tried it, like, really long after it had been out. Like, I had a friend that uh, was, like, freaking out that I hadn't played Half-Life or any of the Valve games, really. So he's like, you gotta at least play Team Fortress or Half-Life or something. So I did. But it was like way, way longer after people were like really even caring about it, so. so I didn't have a computer that could play games when that stuff was popular. Uh, did your first DS DLC playthrough and you beat Gale on your fourth attempt. Congrats, man. That's pretty insane. What kind of uh, weapon are you using? NASA logo was engraved at the bottom of the table. Don't you study? No, I need to... We need to do a, a thorough playthrough of checking under tables and under people's shoes. I figured that a lot of enemies have rocket thrusters under their shoes, too. And they hide the cheat codes inside their socks. We gotta check everybody's feet. At least if they have shoes on in this, because there's some sneaky strats, man. That's where all, like, the Miyazaki bad RNG is. Ah, sweet blood, what's up? How's it going, man? Content, welcome back. So Nems comes back, Fantasy. I'm curious if he will come back or not. I think it actually just depends on how much I beat his time by. If I get a time that's like just disgusting, like it's just so stupidly fast, I feel like there's a chance he wouldn't go back to it. He might actually, I don't know, I could say that and I feel like me saying that would make him want to because he's very competitive, but I feel like if he knows it would take so long, like I obviously think any time that I can get, he can beat, but like if it was just so good that it just would take so much effort, I feel like he'd rather be doing other categories. Like he already is doing regular all bosses right now, even though he knows he could still save another minute off his time. So I guess we'll see. But that's like in a hypothetical situation where I actually got a really good time, so I might not do that, but only because if I got something that still beat it, I would be satisfied regardless. Using a plus 10 refined Lothric sword? Oh, okay. That's a pretty good weapon. That's like the PvP weapon, right?
That's really, really weird. We could have saved a lot of time. Well, I guess we still save time, but like, what is that? Why did he port instantly phase two? That just does not happen. <laughs> Damn. Two full years of dank memes. Six streams and six strings. Thanks for being one of the best streamers out there. Glad I found myself in your small and cozy channel way back when. You're the best man. Senor, thank you for the 24 months in a row. That's nuts, dude. And possibly being one of the best moderators that I've ever seen on a channel on this platform. And, like, just dedicating so much time to that, too. And, and, and also enjoying it as well. Like, obviously you're not being forced to be here, but... Thank you for doing such a good job of that and making people like chat so much. Being a big part of that. I appreciate it, man. Enjoy your, your fiery eyeballs of doom that possibly won't do anything other than make people be like, wow, you have fiery eyeballs of doom. I kind of want those too, but it looks like it's painful, so I'm just going to stick with the hood instead of the fiery eyeballs of doom because I, I don't know. Looks scary. <laughs> Walked right into feels, Clay Mash. What's up, man? <laughs> that definitely deserves a celebration. That's a pretty big deal. Only thing you didn't enjoy was the no roll streams. Eight hours of Cinder for the longest time. That was the, si the silliest idea ever. Even this is pretty silly too, but at least there's like some consistency where you'll see runs that don't mainly exist in high wall for an eternity at this point, but <laughs> there had to be that to be this at the same time, so. Eight hour cinder hype, yeah, that was no roll SL1. I, I will warn you if you hate yourself and you want to hate yourself more, do that. Best, best, quickest way to speedrun hating yourself, but. Um, if you think you might not totally hate yourself, don't do it. Or if you think that you don't really mind having a, like an ounce of sanity to just like save for a rainy day, just don't do it. When does the time save come? Well, we got some time save already, but uh, the biggest time save is in the later game. I think it's highly unlikely we're going to be able to save more time uh, on Yorm or Osiros, or even Dancer. Dancer, maybe, but my Dancer on the PB is pretty good. If anything, we're, we're likely to lose more time on a lot of stuff, but hopefully just not a lot. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, time to save in the later game. It's where it's the biggest. Galactus, what's up? How's it going, man? Sanity, we play souls that was lost long ago. Yeah, true. Good point. Does backstep give iframes? It only gives iframes in DS2. If you have a certain amount of ADP. I guess my arm wasn't perfect, but 
That was pretty good. Uh, 1738, what's up, man? Silly. <laughs> so silly. Don't think we're saving time on that. Never seen that before. <laughs> That, that was literally just, like, obnoxious, man. And so far away, too. fast how do you get your live spit to be transparent skip but you have to um i'm using a color key right now so basically you assign the color key to black and then you go into the options for edit appearance and then you assign every single option you can for background to be whatever color you want to color key it and do it that way you can also chroma key but color key was recommended and it actually works better Look, looks like you can pull this back, Socks. Oh, this isn't even really bad, man. This is actually really good. Keep in mind, the run we're racing against in the beginning is a godly time. Until we get later in the game, then it goes to shit. It's very, very good in the beginning, though. It would have been nice if we didn't have to lose any time on Dancer, but she decided that herself, so... You always miss the PBs, Chris. That's all right. The last one was not super exciting at all. It was exciting in the beginning, I'll say that. It was definitely exciting in the earlier game. If I could hit the head one more time, again, it would save us a little bit more. <laughs> Just one more time, that's it. Like how his ass burns? <laughs> Does it actually? I didn't even see that. Should now spam insta charge while Luigi don't try to dictate RNG man when the game wants to be nice please 
You're not amongst the ranks of iFool and, and V-Sweat. You can't just be an RNG uh, clairvoyant. You're not the... You can't foresee the future like they can, so... Play, you're playing with bad... Bad vibes on that. You know, you might, you might get something bad happen to you now. Like, you might stub your toe twice. Same toe. The worst that you could ever imagine. Maybe you have hiccups for 20 seconds. Maybe 23 seconds. Who knows, man. Why am I throwing knives, Lamb? Uh, it's to buff my weapon. So I need to use a spell, and then I use, need to use the knife to apply the buff to the weapon that has the fire gem. New PB 13153. Ah, uh, yeah, man. That is it at the moment. Shield better for parrying? Uh, it's better than the Grass Crest shield, yeah. I think it's worse than the shield we were grabbing originally because the animation, the startup animation is not as good, but uh, it's pretty. I think it either has the same frames or very similar. It definitely is better than Grass Crest, though. How many times have I attempted versus completed? I have no idea how many times I've completed it. Attempted, uh, probably like 1,450 times at least since the beginning. Understanding most of those are like runs that lasted like a handful of minutes, anywhere from like a minute to like a handful of minutes, but um, yeah, it's like over 1,400 attempts at this point since the very first one. Vampire's greeting screen. Do not try cure diseases with recipes from this game. <laughs> Does it actually say, like, it's a real warning? Or is that a joke? How much time do you save in total by quitting when opening doors, McPron? Throughout the entire run, probably like a minute at least. If it's like any event that's similar to a door, even just something like that, like all the little tiny ones, it's, it's definitely a lot. I don't know the exact number, but you just gotta figure out how many doors there would be. Thanks for being the bestie streamer. Uh, Yenny, dude, thank you very much, man. <laughs> I appreciate that you, uh, 
you think that. That's awesome, man. There's there's a lot of like I, a lot of my favorite streamers overall out of everybody that I watch. Most of them play DS. Or actually, I can't say most of them do, but most of like the finest, in my opinion, or the ones that I've liked the longest, uh, definitely do a lot of souls. So it's there's there's many many choices for you to to pick from that are that are really good in my opinion. But thank you for thinking that. New Wyvern 4541. Nems Wyvern's 4541? Oh yeah, like we're probably ahead of record. Man, dude, the pace we had before is godly. The PB is just ridiculous, man. Like even for Nems, it would be it would be a good pace. Not this one necessarily, but the one from before is just like it, it was I've never seen. I've never we'll probably never be that fast again. It was just so good. Like, you could be faster, but not by much. Not, like, it would just depend on Vort being faster. That's about it. What category did I run first? Or have you always ran SL1 in all bosses? Uh, first category I ran on this was SL1. I actually did it when DLC2 wasn't around as well. Like a while ago. That was actually... Interesting. I mean, there's things I like about it now more because there's more of a challenge be just with the setup, but Bleed was so good before DLC 2 came out. So Reinforce Club on that was really good. Member bleed, yeah. <laughs> Do all the times add up? Uh, that's actually the current pace versus my personal bass, like the the times in the middle. Six only six months, Quill think. So they're not added up. It's like how much we're saving or losing versus my best run. It's complete. Uh, Guava, thank you for the six months in a row. Welcome back, dude. Enjoy your brand new batch. What's the record? Uh, 130.12 at the moment. How long per day noise? At least eight hours usually. Yesterday was like seven, a little bit over seven. The day before that was like 13 because we did a, like a special run. So I'll probably keep today around the same time as yesterday, maybe a little bit longer. Or shorter if we do really good. I don't know, I guess it depends. Are they connected to Discord? You can use them in Discord if you are a sub, yeah. They should be. Oh boy, three months already? Ace, thank you for the three months in a row, man. 
Enjoy your new badge, dude. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Okay, so if we have like a, if we have a really good pace like this, let's just say trying to think of what could be better. On this, everything's been pretty decent so far, but let's say I get a better Vort. Same with everything else, maybe a little bit of a better Aldrich. Average Dancer Yorm, decent Osiros, perfect champion Wyvern, good plus nine split. We're probably always gonna be saving a little, like the tiniest bit of time at this point. If I got a way better Slayer, we'd be ahead by like, maybe almost 10 seconds, but that kind of fight that wasn't really the greatest. Still gonna save time, so. I'd say that's like the earliest point, but we had a really good princess, so we're probably gonna lose time on average there again. Uh, Jack, thank you for the host, man. Uh, this is a ref it is, yes. Why do I wear the armor? Uh, cause I don't wanna die. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Thanks for the content, man. Far praise, Quill. Gino, thank you for the ten months in a row, man. You gotta change that tier three. You're you're actually nutty, dude. You are insane, seriously. No problem, man. Thank you. Thank you for doing insane things that no one's doing on this as well, man. It's been really entertaining watching that whenever I see you online, but you guys should check out Gino. He's doing zero, zero hits with an unupgraded weapon. <laughs> He's possibly one of the best challenge runners on this game, literally. And, he, and I've never actually seen him get mad or be negative, ever. Also, Digidomo, thank you very much, man. So the world might be mend. Uh, Sinistar Pro, welcome back, dude. Thank you for the resub. How have you been, man? It's been a long time. What have you been up to? That is a nostalgic resub. Yeah, it's been a while, dude. Like... I know you pop back in after you've been gone for like a while, maybe at some point last year, maybe? I don't know. I don't even think I've seen you here this year. Thank you very much, dude. Still doing school? All right. How's that going? How many years do you have left? Like, how long's your uh, program? I think, weren't you in like year two before the last time I asked you? Uh, complete the challenge on DS1. Fresh we did, man. It's on uh, YouTube if you want to see it. The uh, the Scorch Contract mod. I'm definitely doing that again at some point. Streams has got you back into the game again. That's awesome, man. Like, I... <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of people that... I've seen play this. Or play any Souls. And, like, people will say that to them. I... Definitely not the intention or anything. Like, I'm perfectly fine if you want to watch it, but you don't want to play it. But that's that's cool if you're enjoying it and all that. I would hope that you would be. Definitely.
Okay, apparently, uh, I guess I could save time on Princess too. Maybe they weren't the greatest. That was pretty slow. I could have closed that sooner. I just didn't think that I'd he'd miss me with that one backhand, but he did. So there was potential to save like an extra five seconds at least. Missed the PvP days, dude. I was actually uh, looking back at some of the like really really old videos that I made or PvP that were just on my old hard drive, or the old part of my hard drive. And uh, it's actually really crazy how much like the meta of DS2 PvP changed, even to the point where like I I uh, was playing it like the last time before I like left it for a long time. Like, it, it was so different before Scholar came out. I think people were starting to get like pretty good around that time, but like just the way I was playing and everybody that uh, was involved in the videos, like it was just like if you just compare that to like a, any of the scholar videos I made, like it's just a complete different level of like, like I would have gotten schooled. Like if I played myself in it, I would have just gotten I would never won once at all. It was, it's pretty crazy, but um yeah, those times were like some of the best, man. Like. Just as good as now, but just a completely different thing, you know. Only five months, five glorious months with my favorite fuzzy little man, Peach. Yours, old Greg. That was a good phase two, but a really bad phase one. I'm trying to think of, uh... Yeah, I ate a Blossom by accident too, I shouldn't have done that. So, no Blossom Frida, I think, because Demons would be more important to have the Blossom for, I think. The exactly 300 damage. <laughs> the round numbers.
All right, that was good. That was good given the RNG that I got. Barbarous King, what's up, man? I, I think I saw you in chat, but I didn't say hi to you. How's it going? Buck Boyd, it's called the Tumblebot. I thought you were actually... Oh, Bucky Boyd. I thought you were using the, the expression Buck Boyd as some sort of descriptive term. <laughs> like, nameless got Buck Boyd. <laughs> we should make that a thing. Edwards, what's up? How's it going, man? October, that's to buff my weapon. I gotta use a spell and then a throwing knife to force the buff onto the... the gem-infused weapon, or the... fire gem weapon. Otherwise, it won't work. Jakota, what's up? How's it going? I think this will be the run. This is the same as any run. This it's a good pace. Same chance though. Pete, what's up? Nems is ducking you. Wait, what do you mean by Nems is ducking? Like he, he's trying to avoid you or something? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, Jakota. Oh, it didn't. What? Okay. That's really weird. I guess I was like early by the slightest bit. The problem on that part is you hit a ridge if you go on that angle. And then you have to wait till you hit the ground, but the quit out timing for it to work is such a tight frame because you're hitting that ridge first. Normally you just hit hit the kill box and that's it. So I was off by a little bit, but I could have still gotten that properly. I just would have had to have been really late and that's super dangerous. It's just like a very slim time frame at that point. So we're gonna lose time there. Nems is stalking me? I don't think he is. He's probably got better things to do than that. Beth, thank you very much for the good luck, by the way. Nems is behind you? Oh, no. <laughs> that would actually be hilarious if he was. The, the one time that you joke about it, he actually is. Nems said yesterday he's never doing SL1 again. Even if his record gets broken. Damn. Well, then I guess Coltrane will have the record in the end, even if I got it right now. Unless he doesn't want to do an insane grind and... 
Okay, there, I guess there's two ways it could work out. I get a run that's beatable by him, like with with not too much trouble, and he ends with it. Or he do, he doesn't want to beat the time I get if my, the time I get is too good the next time we, uh, you know, improve the time a lot. But that depends on those two factors. So I guess we would have to see. I don't blame him though, man. Like, I don't see. I like this category more than he does. I think, but. I could understand why anybody would not want to do this run, rather than the other categories. I done with no hit run selling game oh no definitely not dude i just took a big break from them so we will do those again uh selling aim by the way welcome back sorry for i didn't i didn't read your hello first remember when i said i'd be pretty much done with this run when i beat coltrane's record i did say that yeah pretty i said pretty much though but either way, yeah, I I will actually be done with it if I beat the current record. I don't. He can he can end with the record if he wants to. I don't I don't need to hold it forever. I just want to improve the time. Something good because we have the ability to. Going beyond that just means like insane RNG grind. And it's already like almost at the point of that. So. I mean, he started with it, he can end with it. That, that sounds good. Actually, I would enjoy watching him do that if I ever actually had the chance to get record again. That'd be really cool. What the hell is this dog doing? Is the current one socks? It's uh one thirty twelve at the moment. Not much of a person to do challenges, but you're interested in SL one runs on remastered in DS3. Do you have any tips? Uh I don't know, man. I guess it depends on what game you're talking about in specific or specifically. I would recommend don't use pyromancies on DS1 unless you want it to be easy, because DS1 SL1 is the easiest out of any of them if you use pyromancies. So I'd, I'd be aware of that. Otherwise, good luck and have fun. Oh, I'll also, sorry, DS2, if you're going to do DS2. I might have misread the thing still, but uh, if, if you ever do that, uh, you want items that boost ADP, so you want Simpleton's Ring and you want the Peasant Set. Because you won't have enough iframes to survive certain animations uh, if you're doing all the bosses or to humanly time rolls and stuff like that. So you're going to need at least, uh, I think, nine iframes. I believe you start with six. I would recommend nine. Uh, Jason, thank you for gifting Teal a reset, man. Welcome back for three months, Teal.
<laughs> the hollowed alert should be louder. Yeah, right. So yeah, no blossom on this. sketchy more than I wanted it to be Yeah, I could have played that a little bit better, but we didn't really have a lot of time save on that anyways. I don't think. I guess the good thing with that fight was we didn't actually, like, the, the Blossom not being available didn't really affect it too much. Did you go for the backstab and miss then kick? Yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Because with the wall, I couldn't get the hit and the backstab. How you not take fall damage, Tempix? You don't take fall damage in the beginning of the DLC. It's a feature of the area, the ash. If you land on ash, that is. Ash <laughs> Everything is shattered. Sometimes I see things that just ain't there. But I see you, boy. And I'm gonna piece myself back together with pieces of you. <laughs> Smirker, thanks. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Are those lyrics? <laughs> Are you getting good, Jillis? I th I'd say we got pretty good on this run. Although, I there's still some things I would have done better by a little bit. Not too many things, though. King? Oh man. I feel like you can expect him to meme like literally 50% of the time. That's like the rate that I feel that it happens at.
That's yeah, pretty meme -y, but not not as bad. Could be worse. <laughs> Still got the uh, the stagger. Wasn't as bad though. Got it sooner before the attack. I buffed twice. Okay. At least we weren't on the other side. That's good. Ah, uh, Stroke Harry, what's up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> Where is Demon Queen? I, I don't even want to know. <laughs> I would imagine that'd probably be even worse, so I don't I don't want to see a Demon Queen. <laughs> if that exists. Asterix, honestly, that still wasn't even as good as it could have been, but I didn't make too many mistakes, so...
but it kind of has to be that way if you're not playing that good then like you can lose so much time you can lose so much extra time because their attacks last forever if the longer you give them a chance to do the worst attacks it's just like it's one of the most important fights in this run that and madeer if you don't if you don't do everything you possibly can you can convert every single bit of stamina to damage and not getting bad rng and getting hit and stuff like it's you're just making opportunities for worse situations. You, you gotta hope that that's not the case then. Save so much time with the double buff, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. It was all the double buff. Uh, Nems, what's up, dude? How's it going? Don't like Demon Prince. No, Demon Prince is one of my favorite bosses, definitely. But I'm saying in this run, like, it's very important. It's one of the most important fights where if you if you don't play the best, even if you play the best you can, you can still get screwed. So you can't play any worse than near, nearly the best you can, or it's just going to make more situations. Not even because of the mistakes, just the amount of time they're alive for still. Just it takes long to kill them, so. Don't want bad things occurring because of leaving extra time. Silverhawk, what's up, dude? Doubt you'd ever run SL1 again, just too annoying. It, <laughs> yeah, we were actually talking about that. Oh yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. I expect that he's probably going to, even if I, like, let's say it's not this run, but we PB and we get a uh, record at some point, I'm sure he'll probably end with it because he's pretty determined. He also took like a break for long enough where seems like he's been giving hey, himself man, enough time away where he's going to be really interested in it still. Entertainment. How you been lately? One twenty eight seems good for SL one, but RNG is fun. Yeah, it's just the longer fights, dude. They take so long. It's like literally just the, the epitome of RNG grind compared to regular all bosses because of that. I'm just gonna peach out on this and heal anyways, because we have four flasks. If I had one extra, I probably wouldn't do that. Partake chomping is strangely erotic for you? That's weird. It's a pretty cool NPC though. Like they it's I thought it was really weird that they gave him a, a human voice, but I guess that makes it even cooler because you don't expect it. It's like why is there a random bug chilling and he's not trying to kill me? <laughs> he's like hiding in a cubby too. Uh, that instantly made me think the DLC was just gonna be really weird. When I got there.
Uh, Zix, welcome back. What's up, dude? Straight from here without fighting, I'm on the cliff, Pikachu. Yeah, you have to do this, though. You have to do both the skips that we just did. All right, well, he didn't do double march, but he did single march. And then he just like backstepped twice, which is this, it's probably the equivalent of double march, to be honest. But whatever. Okay, I gotta put the ring on early on this part. The thing is, like, the time we saved is still probably just the partake time that we lost, so Madeir, the Madeir fight was identical, pretty much. At least I'm pretty sure, because we fucked up partake, so... Therefore, somehow, <laughs> it was the same. I don't know how, because that Madeir fight I had my PB was, like, absolute garbage. That one seemed better, but... I guess not... I guess when you factor in just the back steps and everything, it's... Close out to be the same. Do you think you messed up uh, partake on this PB? Oh, maybe I didn't. It's probably the one before you're right, actually. Never mind, that makes more sense. It's the one that was right before.
that was a pretty, pretty nifty, uh, Painting Guardian punish there. I would, I guess I could do Gale no, uh, Bonfire Rest, but I still need the... The silly, uh, buffs, right? Yeah, that was actually not too bad of a half. I could have punched him a little bit earlier later, but uh, Painting Guardian Part 1 was a little bit iffy. Everything else was okay until like maybe like the very last part, but it was actually it was better than my normal average, I would say. Not too bad. Jinx, 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 Jinx. Right, there it is world record 129 baby oh man that was actually a really good phase three too phase two could have been a bit better but i mean that's gonna world be a hard, hard time to beat Son. 129 get fucked that was exciting that was very exciting well guys <clears throat> I'm, it was I'm, a good world record thrilled. fortunate well we, done streamer we officially you have retired it, from dude. speed runs on sl1 it's over it is over gg Congrats. Ah, Nems, thanks, man. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. I gotta show the time. GG, my dude. It's not a bad time, either. It's pretty good. Given the Madeira we got, you'd have to get a better Madeira, you'd have to get Bolite, or you'd have to get... To beat that, like, that's... First try Sage, pretty average Frida, not too bad. First try skip on every single skip, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, that's like a really good run, to be honest. Not much could be better. Like, just Madeira, pretty much. That's it. Gale, eh, maybe a bit. Like, major major time saves are just Madeira. From what I from what I can see from it. Uh, 30 seconds on Wilhelm? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if you have like an insane Aldrich, or I guess I Aldrich wasn't the greatest 